Hey guys, it's Linda24 here. I am just coming to you to do a few reviews on a couple of items. Um, I decided to compile one video for the items because uh, the first major one will not take long um, to review. Uh, one moment. Okay, the first review I'm going to do is on the Jesse Curl Weekly Deep Conditioning Treatment. And this is as it says, it's supposed to be used weekly to deep treat your hair. Um, the consistency is very creamy. It's thick. Uh, I used it twice, so this is what I've used a little bit more than, a little bit less than half of it, quite a bit. And I had two uses of it. Um, it is... Um, it contains cocoa and shea butters and it's supposed to moisturize dry or damaged hair. Uh, use this thick treatment once a week to restore moisture to dry hair, rich in botanicals and natural butters. Jessica Wheatley Deep Conditioning Treatment will improve and maintain the health of your hair. Um, so I apply this. It has mostly um, natural products. And what it what isn't is at the back, the bottom of it with fragrance and some other stuff that I like. Two other things I can't pronounce, but I guess it's basically to keep to preserve this. Now, I to me this isn't really anything to write home about for the price. I paid twenty two Canadian dollars for this, and this is it, an eight fluid fluid ounce uh, jar. Um, for the price, I really don't think I'm going to buy it again because it did not give me, it didn't make my hair feel any different from any regular um, deep treating uh, treatment that I've used. Um, it's obvious, it is a step above like the lustrous silk because it does contain more things but I just don't think for the price and for the amount that I get and my hair is thick, I need more. I need to be able to use a deep conditioner liberally, meaning I need to be able to slather that sucker on and make sure everything is covered. I was kind of um, skimping on it, sort of, because it did not... Actually, the first time I used it, I didn't skimp, the, but then I didn't really get the result that I necessarily thought it should have given and then the second time I was a little I covered my hair but I didn't slather it on um, and it was really nothing to write home about to me I've heard wave reviews about this um, I will continue to use it of course until it's done and I'm probably um, I'm gonna use it until it's done and the next time I use it I'm gonna read it because I did pay attention the time when I used it the tw two times and I really didn't think it was ex exceptional um, more than anything else. Um, one minute guys. Yeah, like I used to use this QP Elaster, Elaster QP DPR11. This wasn't bad and it was okay. It wasn't great, but it certainly, when I compare both, I think I was left feeling the same way. Um, I wasn't really committed really. So this I had picked up on one of my trips to, to the um, to the beauty supply, it's $5.99 and um, I'm going to use it. This is a new brand that they're doing. It's uh, the Organic Infusion Olive Oil and I can always add whatever I want to this. This is not 100% pure um, ingredients. I don't know why they're talking about, well they said organic infusion. You have to watch the wording on these things people because they'll kind of lead you astray, making you think this is organic. So, the Jesse Curl, one thumbs up. Um, for price, hmm, $22, a little bit steep for what I'm going to be using this for. You know, I'd rather concoct something on my own and, and, and have it do what I want it to do. So that's it for that. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to review is my black soap. I've been using this for about a month now. My husband and I, he stopped using it, but I continue to use it. Um, I w bought this for $6.99 at an African store. I scooped some out into this smaller container, and this is what I've been using since. It really goes a long way, um, because all you need is a little dab. Um, I'm telling you, like this 
can do your whole face. This is probably even too much. I love it. Um, I love it for cleansing my face. I've been having, if you guys noticed my last couple of videos when I kind of zoomed in on my face and didn't zoom out, forgot. I had some pimples on my face, which I don't know what the hell that's all about. But they're like deep down and kind of painful. I don't know what it is. I need to kind of think about what I'm using on my face. But I'm not going to stop using this. This is a really good cleanser for your face. It takes off the makeup very well. I love it. Um, and I actually, I think I'm going to continue to use this. The only thing, I do have dry skin. It does dry your skin out a little bit. But all you do, just use a great moisturizer afterwards and that will pretty much um, balance out and equalize your the dryness on your face. I really like this and I like the fact that it's a natural product and this thing will last me forever. Yes, I just wanted to add regarding the black soap, the lather on that thing is amazing. You know we love our lather, like that thing lathers up with just even that a speck of that, it completely bathes your face in just a mousse of lather. Yeah, the, the lather is like a mousse, guys. So I really, really love it. And it, you know, it seems to, you know, you try and work it in quite nicely. The more you do that, the more it lathers up. A nice, fluffy mousse. Okay, guys, I just thought I'd so, add that. Um, I don't know really why my husband stopped using it. He's blaming this for some things that are happening to his face. And he has oily skin. It should have worked for him. But he doesn't really commit to things anyway like this. I buy him a lot of stuff to use on his face and after like a week he'll stop. But I'm co going to continue to use this. Uh, the next thing I am trying to curtail this um, but still be effective in giving you a fair review. I'm going to review this tool structure uh, detangling comb. Got it at Sally's I think for three dollars something. I oh, remember I said it in my video when I bought it. Um, I like this comb. I love it does detangle very very well what I found with this was that it was a little bit awkward to use I don't know I think the the handle is a bit little bit too short and you know when I go through the hair it does kind of detang it kind of gets slippery it, there's no grip although with this old one I I really love the handle on this because I can actually I don't know. I think it's the handle that's kind of making me have reservations about it. But as for the detangling um, part, it does do that extremely well with the construction of this comb. This is a really good, um, I don't know what it is about the, the, the ergonomics of this, the design of the comb. I don't know, it really does detangle well, but the ergonomics on the handle is not that great for me. I've heard guys, you guys, um, when I had gotten it, said you love it, but I don't know. I, tell me guys, do you? is it awkward when you use it? I just found it just a little bit short, especially when you're in the shower and trying to detangle. Mm, it kind of is a little bit iffy, but I prefer the, the handle on this one, so... I do, um, I don't mind it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my reviews. I'm kind of thinking of what else I need to review. Um, I don't know. But if I think of it, I'll let you know. The hair is doing okay. Um, guys, if you get this hair, do not kill it with that paddle brush. I, I've been doing that and some of my hair I've been like sliding up. Because remember, it is tied. So curtail that. I, um, if you do have to just lightly hold it firmly and then brush it out, but it's good so far. What I have on my lips, I went to MAC some time ago and I got, um, this peach because I wanted some peach colors for the, um, summer. I got this, uh, lip glass in fold and tuck and I got the, uh, the lipstick, uh, which is peach lipstick in, and it's called Dressmaker, it's a luster, really nice combination, not too loud, it's really nice, I like it, it's from that pret a papier that, that, that uh, collection, so check it out if you like it. Okay guys, that's it for now, and take care, and I'll see you guys, bye.